Well, on brothers and sisters. So there's this whole amazing thing that's been found in Psalm 124 that's going around. I've got to tell you, I have looked into it and I have dug into the Hebrew and I've checked this ELS that he found. I am impressed. It really is there. It is legit. So exciting, really exciting. And yes, um, I have actually done a video on this once or twice in the last two years about the specific psalms that line up to the specific years and how they actually speak, like psalm that lies up, lies up, lines up with uh, 1948 when Israel was established. There's another one, uh, uh, Pastor Sandy went into it about two years ago, that actually ties in with Mussolini. There's all sorts of historic connections that line up to those exact years. And then when you jump ahead, it lines up in 120 forward stage 2020 forward and you can see the connections and you can see things that are there and then we haven't even tapped into the ELS codes yet like this brother has done on Psalm 124 and now 124 as well I actually want to read the psalm to you and then give you my thinking on it and then we'll touch on what he's found so Psalm 124 the Lord the defense of his people from verse 1 if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Now, you know, the waters represent mankind and great masses of people. And they're talking here about this time, the sudden time when this people's wrath was kindled and they came against Israel unexpectedly. They would have overwhelmed them in numbers and destroyed them. They wouldn't have been able to defend themselves but God. And that pretty beautifully describes this whole situation from October 7. And how they could have, had they planned it properly, they could have pushed all the way through. But things went wrong purposefully. But God, from verse 6, Blessed be the Lord, who was not, who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Now, for me, that's the 2024 Psalm, if you connect them from the 1948 Psalm forward. And it speaks for me beautifully exactly of Israel having victory in this war that they're in now against these enemies that are coming against her and realizing that they could not have done this if not for God. So a mentality change in them as a people group where they realize if not for Yahweh, the God of their fathers, Yeshua HaMashiach, Ruach HaKodesh, they would not have survived because all men's wrath around the world would kindled against them. The hatred was strong. The waters would have overwhelmed them and rushed over their souls. But God. So it perfectly fits with the 2024 year in the timeline going forward. And if you keep reading, you'll see how they perfectly fit into these things and you can really draw into them. But now to what this brother found, um, verse 7. He goes into verse 7 and verse 7 says, Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. And taking from the first letter there, the nun, he counts the sixth letter skip sequence, which for me was interesting. Six days, seventh day of rest. And he spells out Natsal. And Natsal, Strong's 5337, to strip, plunder, deliver, be delivered, snatched away. So a very beautiful rapture picture and a rapture word coded into verse 7. And he's now saying <coughs> it's possible that January 7, the rapture could take place. I am not someone who's going to pin a date to this. I'm going to say it is exciting that it is definitely an ELS code. I've looked at it myself. It is encoded in there 
It is encoded in the psalm for the year 2024, the rapture word of Hebrew, not soul, and it is there. We have escaped from the snare of the fowler, that snare that the world is setting for Jews and Christians alike. We have escaped. Because if I have to say it's 7 January, I could say it's the seventh week of the year. I could say it's the seventh month. And so we can carry on. What I will say with confidence is the ELS code is there. Natsal is the Hebrew equivalent of that rapture situation, Arpazo. And yes, it's connected to 2024. So, <coughs> sorry, exciting. Look into it, watch it, uh, delve into it, be blessed and excited that Jesus is busy in the field. And shortly, not so, he will help us escape the snare of the fowler. He never leaves us alone. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.